Hello guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. On today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you how to put that horizon on all those reflections that we checked on the video last week. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you see it. So now that we understand the horizon and the reflections on the cars, now I'm gonna show you how to apply it to a lot more complex surfaces instead of just like a flat surface like we did last week. So check it out. Last week I painted a piece of acrylic and then I bent it and show you how the reflections work on a car. So it's very important if you haven't seen that one to go see that one. After that, this is a very basic flat piece of acrylic that I painted it. It's not a very complex shape. The problem with cars is that they have very organic complex shapes. If you go like cars from like the 70s, they're pretty flat and square and easy, but the more modern cars, those surfaces, since now they're not all handmade, but it's a lot of computer generated surfaces, it gets a lot more complex and we need to understand how they reflect. I actually took out my Alias Studio Tools, which is an awesome software. I'm gonna give you guys a link where you can check it out and uh, you can download a student version, which is super cool because you can get started with it without having to spend any money. I had to go back into my brain to remember how to do all that because it's been a while since I've used it. It was awesome, it came out just naturally. I was working super fast before I knew it, my hand was going through all the shortcuts. Today, we're gonna talk about how we had that horizon line, which is flat, and then you have like, so that's a flat surface, but then when you have a fender, it's a surface that sticks out of that flat surface, and you have to understand how the horizon is interacting with it and how it's gonna break it up and how when you smoothen that surface, it connects it all together again. So it's hard to explain with words, so let's go into the computer and check it out. So this is Alias Studio Tools. I'm gonna start with very basic geometric shapes. These ones are very good for you to understand what the reflections are doing and what the horizon is doing. And basically, all the cars are just a bunch of geometric shapes that once you put them together, you can generate more complex shapes. But the foundation is mostly on these shapes, on a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, and a cube. I'm actually gonna lay down the cone and the cylinder so you can see how that horizon line reflects on them. If you see the ones that's standing up, they don't have a horizon line because they are not perpendicular to that reflection. If you see the ones laying down, you can see the one on the cylinder is perfectly flat. The one on the cone actually follows the shape of the cone, so it's slanted down. That's very important for you to understand when you're drawing fenders and sidewalls and stuff, how that horizon line follows that shape. Then also, if you see on the sphere, you can see how that horizon line wraps around the entire sphere. So if you look at the sphere from the top, you will see that horizon line all the way around. If you go lower, it kind of kind of morph and bend, but you will see it will stay similar to when we have a flat surface. So I've made them black so you can see that reflection a lot better. Hope that helps. And then this is how it would look if you put like a silver chrome reflection to it. It's easier to understand. It's not perfectly accurate with the reflection, but it's a a very easy way to read shapes in this software. Now I'm gonna put a plane, which is just a flat piece, and I'm gonna do similar to what I did on the previous video with the acrylic. I'm gonna bend it outward, so you can see how that horizon came up and compressed, similar to the previous video. I can move it up and down, so depending where the curvature is, is what the horizon is gonna sit. And then I just made it wider to be able to fit what I need to fit in there. You can see I'm making a more modern shape, which I'm curving it a little bit and then I'm pulling the edges backwards just so you can understand how it's not a one-dimensional shape but it's a three-dimensional shape. It's bending in three different ways. Now I'm gonna create these lines that I'm gonna project so I can cut the, the holes where the tires would be so I can add some fenders really quick. This is a pretty quick job but it's for you to understand. And I'd say in the future, I'll cover lessons about this. This is just to show you how the reflections work. So focus on that horizon that is right now on the, on the flat surface, okay? Now I cut it out to put the, where the wheels would go, and then I copy that piece and stick it outward, so that would be where the lip of those fenders would be. And again, I'm gonna cut them out, so and then I can connect them to the rest of the body. And that's like the very basic foundation of how fenders work on a car. So if you see, I cut them out and then put them together just with a flat surface. Usually you make a better complex surface, but for this scenario, I'm just trying to teach you really quick. 
So now if I make them shiny, you can see how it has that same horizon line that we had on the other surface, but it's a different height. You see that it sits lower. So it's almost like you were talking about a cone that is laying down. You see how it kind of, the horizon is pointing down and it's not aligned with the surface that is on top. So now if I build a surface that kind of connects these two surfaces together, there's a better way to do it. But for this example, I'm just gonna do a dirty job with it. You can see how now that horizon line, see now it's acting like one surface. That horizon line is trying to follow that same shape all the way. And if I made a better job with that with a cleaner surface, you will see that line be a lot smoother and just follow a beautiful contour. And then I'm going to make the lip of the fender also connect the surface with the other flat surface. And you can see that horizon line follow through through the entire body of the car. So now we're making that more complex surface that it's interacting all together. And you can see how that horizon line reacts. To the entire surface so this is a dirty job of how a car would look but it will give you a very good understanding of how the horizon line works when you're painting or drawing a car and how you should treat it so i'm going to give you a better close-up again if this surface is where it made even cleaner you will have that perfectly smooth horizon line following all the along the car now i'm going to change the color for you guys to see it better i'm going to make it maybe darker and uh, with the black you can see it really well or I'm gonna try it in red. I think red will be a good color for you to see that horizon line. I guess the shiny red kind of like loses that horizon. So if I go darker red, you can see that horizon line and that's how it would look on a red car. So again, you can see that horizon line just following the shape of the car. And that's very important for you to understand. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna take you outside to the real life so you can see this. It's very important that you see this reflections, pay attention to them because that's what a reflection that we'll be looking for in the real cars. So I went and drove around with a camera attached to the door of my car. So then when I'm driving, you can record and see other cars and see how that horizon line reacts to all the reflections and how it follows the body of the car. So it's going to be super cool. Check it out. And then I'm going to show you in some of my sketches how I play with that horizon line. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Uh, please share, share with your friends. Um, the channel is growing a little slower than I thought it would be. It started super fast and then it just kind of has gone down to a slow pace. I think these videos are going to help a lot of people. So please share them around. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Have a great day. Take care.